In this video, I want to talk about a sort of general overview of what's supposed to happen in fatty acid synthesis without actually talking about the actual reactions of it. So beta oxidation was breaking down fatty acids. So here we're talking about building them instead of breaking them down. So this is an anabolic process. And if you recall, the catabolic process was beta oxidation. So the anabolic process would be a reductive pathway. So if it's a reductive pathway, it's going to require a reducing agent. And we're going to require a specific reducing agent, and that is NADPH. And we'll talk about that in more depth in just a moment. But if you recall, fatty acid uh, breakdown, beta oxidation, we clipped off a 2-carbon acetyl-CoA in every round of beta oxidation. In fatty acid synthesis, instead of breaking off, acetyl-CoA's, we're going to be putting acetyl-CoA's together, to some degree, of course. So, where are the acetyl-CoA's? Where is acetyl-CoA normally located? Well, it's normally located in the mitochondria, mitochondrial matrix, right? where pyruvate is, is converted to acetyl-CoA via the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. Acetyl-CoA usually is in the mitochondria. But where does fatty acid synthesis occur? It actually occurs in the cytosol. Okay, so we need to somehow get the acetyl-CoA's out into the cytosol. Now, problem, acetyl-CoA does not cross the mitochondrial membrane and neither does oxaloacetate. Okay, both of these compounds do not cross the mitochondrial membrane. However, if those two come together, this two carbon molecule and this four carbon molecule, they can form citrate. And you should recall that that reaction is catalyzed by citrate synthase, which is an enzyme from the TCA cycle. Now citrate, however, citrate can cross the membrane. So citrate can cross the mitochondrial membrane. So it does. Now once we have the citrate out in the cytosol, there's an enzyme called citrate lyase, which actually can cut um, cut citrate back into acetyl-CoA and oxaloacetate. Now this is good because now we have these acetyl-CoA's available for fatty acid synthesis in the cytosol. So this acetyl-CoA is now ready for fatty acid synthesis. However, now what, we, this, what these acetyl-CoA's need is they need reducing power. They need NADPH's. So where do these NADPH's come from? Well, this oxaloacetate that was created can um, can be converted into malate. Now, if you recall, malate is converted into oxaloacetate via malate dehydrogenase, and that was an oxidation reaction in which we created an NADH. But in this case, we're going to go from an NA from oxaloacetate to um, to malate, so that's going to be um, a reduction reaction and we're going to have to take NADH and convert it into NAD+. Now, once we have malate, malate can become pyruvate by losing a carbon dioxide. And when we lose that carbon dioxide, malate is being, when it's converted to, to uh, pyruvate, it's being oxidized. And when it's being oxidized, we're creating a reducing agent. You might have guessed it already, but what are we going to create? In this case, we're going to create NAD, whoops, NADPH. Now, this is going to be important for fatty acid biosynthesis, right? If you recall, we mentioned that NADPH could be created from the pentose phosphate pathway. Well, this is another way that NADPH can be synthesized. Now, once it's been made in the cytosol, it can be used, right, can be used, 
oops, it can be used for fatty acid biosynthesis. So these acetyl CoA's, right? They're going to be, you know, sort of be put back together to be made into a fatty acid. Uh, they're going to need reductive power. That reductive power comes from an ADPH. So if you recall, beta oxidation had two oxidation steps. Fatty acid synthesis has two reduction steps. In those two reduction steps, NADPH is is reoxidized back into NADP plus. So this is used for those two reduction steps. So I hope that general overview about what's supposed to happen with fatty acid synthesis was helpful. In addition, I also hope it was helpful that um, you can understand where how this is another way to actually create NADPH. So like I said, I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching.